Before I show you anything, I'm going to show you right now, this uptime, this features telling me that this phone 6, okay, telling you this phone 6, I've been using this phone for um, 149 hours already. So it's actually telling me this information inside the settings. And today I'm going to show you some of the features that you might want to know about your phone and then it might help you in the long run. And these are, it's very important and make sure that you go all the way, you watch all the way to the end and see if you know all these features. All you have to do is you go to the settings, you go from the top, press settings, and then you go all the way to the bottom, you can see about phones right at the bottom here. And then you can see status information. And then if you go all the way down, you can see uptime, okay? You can see that. And let's say this flip phone, I did a reset recently because I want to see if this uptime will reset to zero, and it did. That's why right now it shows that it's two hours and three minutes, okay? So this is actually pretty good to see if your phone need to do a reset, need to do uh, do you need to do a reset and things like that but however this phone 6 that i've been using for 149 days i don't feel any lagging i don't feel any slowdown i don't uh, there's nothing like freezing up on me everything works really well so i'm just going to keep on going and going and going all right so this is the first features the second feature is we want to activate the developer options because inside there's actually two features I would like you to take a look at it so if you go to software information and then we're going to go all the way down building numbers and we're going to keep tapping until it set or they ask you for a password and now basically the developer options would be on okay at the bottom here you can see developer options is on okay but before we're going to go into developer options this is the samsung care at the bottom so if you got the brand new phones and you haven't purchased samsung care plus you might want to think about that see if you want to purchase it if you want to pr uh, purchase you just go in there and then you just basically sign the form pay and then that's it this is a samsung care that will help everything like your your screen, your everything. So this is the chart, everything, right? You just pay the deductible and then that's it. You can send your phone out and then they're gonna repair your phones. So you want to consider if you want to do a Samsung Care or not. So now we're gonna go for developer options right here, okay? And then, first of all, if you think that your phone is really slow, running really, really slow, you might want to scroll down and look for running service. And every time when your phone is running slow, you want to check out your RAM. What is it running mostly, right? Mode and routine, find my mobile, things like that, right? It's running at the background. And you can see right now, it has 8.2 gigabyte for free, but it's actually using up this much right now. And at the bottom here, you can see what you don't really need let's just say i don't want to use my find my mobile because my mobile is here right i don't need my mobile you go inside you press stop and then now my mobile is gone you can see that right so now my find my mobile is gone now it will free up some ram so if you if your phone is actually running like really slow and things like that you might want to go to developer options go to running service and go inside and see which one you don't need and then just like stop it and then it will free up some RAM. So secondly, we have to go to USB debugging. You have to turn that on. Every time when you actually plug this phone to your computer and things like that, sometimes it doesn't run because your USB debugging is not turned on. You must turn on in order for your USB to the computer and it runs. In addition, before you start doing anything, you keep scoring all the way down, pretty down, you have to keep scoring until you see default USB configurations. 
So now you type in there, you want to tell the Samsung, if you plug the USB, what do you want them to do? You want them to charge, you want them to charge your phone, you want them to transfer things, you want them to trans transfer like image, things like that. What do you want? USB tendering. So what I like to do is, is usually transferring files, okay? You must turn this on. So in order for you to like, let's just say I'm going to plug it into my computer, I'm going to plug it into my MacBook, and now the USB will know that, okay, you want to transfer files, and then they will open my file on the computer, you can start transferring. You have to set this up, or else by default, they're going to be debugging only, that's it. But you want to tell them what you want to do. So the third features I would like you to show you is, is actually display the refresh rate. So if you scroll all the way down, you can see this show refresh rate. So at the top there, you can see if I do something, it will show you the 120 gigahertz refresh rate. I, is, is it using 60 gig refresh rate? Anything they would display to you. And you can tell that are they using 60 gig refresh rate or not. And you can actually tell the Samsung which graphic cards, no, which apps should use the different refresh rate by going on to the good log. So yesterday I already showed to you guys using good log display assistant to show that like which app use 60 uh, gig refresh rate or which app should use 120 gigahertz refresh rate. I show it to you, so watch a, a previous video. But this is telling me that like, okay, am I doing things right? So it will show you the refresh rate at the top right there. So now let's just go for something a little bit more important. So if we go into background process limit, you want to limit to maybe four processing. That means that you only can run four things at the same time at the background. So it doesn't lag, it doesn't heat up, the temperature doesn't go higher because you only limit four processing, okay, background. So this will help you to lower down the temperature, it won't lag because why would you need more than four, right? So this one, you will limit it down. And the final thing I would like to show you is if you still go all the way down, there's like this thing called multi-windows for all apps. You want to turn that on. I'm not sure if, if this is going to help because you have good luck to do that as well. But let's just turn that on so all apps will able to do multi-windows with no issues. And this is basically, it just turn that on and that's it. So this is actually quite important developer options and go in and take a look uh, what you need to do and this is it please also on my channel and share this video these are the features that you need to know for sure and maybe it will help you in the long run and if you like this video subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye peace out